What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Reflections. Guys, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to uh, follow along on this video series. Uh, it's been really meaningful for me to continue to make these episodes and uh, continue to share the story of the journey and evolution of RTS. Uh, the <clears throat> previous couple episodes, I talk about uh, time spent in uh, Chris's garage, aka the Iron Mecca. Uh, kind of a recap is that this is a little 100 square foot garage, the one you see right here in this photo, uh, in Chivit, Ohio, on the west side of Cincinnati. This is where I started really creating uh, my vision for what could become of this idea for RTS Barbell. And uh, it was such a meaningful time for me. I was just, I had just dropped out of college, I had no money, uh, I just started dating my now wife, Madison. So it was just very formative years. Uh, I was I was 19 and I was just trying to figure my life out and uh, I'm so grateful for how things have transpired and come together uh, almost a decade later but um, this picture here is really exciting because this is the day we moved out of Chris's garage uh, this was of course bittersweet because we absolutely love to you know being at Chris's and getting to see her all the time and and uh, you know, I didn't appreciate back then uh, how meaningful that time period would, would you know, would be and and was and uh, so you know, in retrospect and, and and looking back, I I have such a fond appreciation for the time spent and and the things that I learned in this garage and uh, the life that was lived and and the memories that were made and stuff like that. So, uh, kind of the lead up to this photo is that I did become desperate. For a feeling of growth, and uh, I was lifting in Chris's garage. We, we were we were all lifting Chris's garage. Uh, I was screen printing in my cousin's basement, about five minutes up the road. I was working full time as an electrician. I was doing odd jobs, so I was just kind of all over the place, trying to do whatever I could to feel some sense of progress forward. Uh, from a space perspective, though, I was starting to feel very confined to this little garage. Uh, the time that we spent there, again, I absolutely loved it. I'm so grateful Chris uh, um, allowed us to do so. But, you know, in time, uh, my ambitions were outgrowing what the garage could do for us. And so I went through this period of frustration and probably slightly depre slight depression of feeling trapped, feeling frustrated by not being able to find uh, a space to move into. The thing I discovered back then was that uh, to rent a space and, of course, to buy a, a space, a building of any kind was really expensive. And that has not changed. It's, it's only become more so. But, but back then, without much to, much to go on financially, the idea of being able to rent a, a storefront or anything like that seemed impossible. And so I would drive around the city and I would call every for lease sign or for – you know, rent sign and inquire about what, uh, you know, what did it cost? What was the, you know, the status of the space? And, and I started to be forced to learn a lot about real estate and rent options and rent agreements and different things like that. But it always came back to just being too much. So as you're going to see in episodes to come, our, for our first commercial space, but I uh, I one day fortunately found a building in Walnut Hills <clears throat> that was an old clock factory that was a now converted into like mixed use artist spaces, and it is in that building that RTS Barbell officially would start. Um, so that is the catalyst to us moving out of Chris's garage. This photo would have been taken either like the last day in March of 2017 or I'm sorry, um, January of 2017 or February 1st uh, when I officially would have got the keys to the space. Um, it's funny looking back, it's hard to remember sometimes all the details and how things were playing out. But this was essentially about February 1st of 2017. Uh, Chris was unfortunately on vacation uh, we moved out and she wasn't home, which did make me sad, actually. Uh, but, you know, 
we hit the ground running nonetheless. And, and Chris is still, to, still here and with us uh, to this day, uh, enjoying spending time together and, and, uh, focusing on you know, get, getting good workouts. And so that, that means the world to me, but, um, you can see kind of without all the equipment in there, what we were working with, I'll point out the, uh, left-hand side of the floor there uh, the the original floor was really thin concrete and it didn't take long for the atlas stones that we had the platform there uh, to break the floor even though i had plywood and horse stall mats and all that fun stuff uh, the vibrations of the impact uh, eventually caused the floor to cave in so a, a neighbor of my parents did concrete and he was gracious enough to spend one late night one with me one day uh mixing concrete and, and fixing that but i uh i went ahead and cut the ang uh, rectangle out and jackhammered out all the concrete and then we spent the night mixing concrete and putting rebar and dug it down and made it made it right so uh that's the story of of why that the concrete's a different color but really guys this was just so just so bare bones and it was just so it was just the perfect catalyst. It was the perfect figure it out space. Uh, we had Chris's wonderful support. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this other than this moment. You know, if, if I were to go back in time and I kind of tell you what I was feeling, moving out of this space and moving into the first commercial space was like, it was the biggest move of my life. I was basically scrounging every little penny I could out of my electric paycheck to be able to cover the rent at the new space. I constricted my life down to as minimal as I ever, even more than it was. And, you know, leaving this space was, it was leaving a sense of, of security in a way. It was leaving a sense of protection. You know, Chris was gracious enough to let us use the space. The space wasn't going anywhere. No one was, you know, throwing me out of the space. No one was going to up up the rent on the space. You know, it was at a time where my life felt very unstable. This space was very stable, and Chris made it that way. And so, to give up being here and you know throwing myself headfirst into renting my first commercial space and figuring out over the span of, you know, four or five or months or so to when we officially opened as RTS Barbell. Um, it's funny just thinking about it now. Like, I mean, I was, I'm sure, absolutely pumped. Uh, well, I know I was absolutely pumped. I know that I have, I had this feeling of like, this is it without really knowing what that meant. But like, this is it, you know, and I think I've, I've always done well, you know, matter what stepping stone we've been at, like, this is, this is the moment, you know what I mean? Like, this is, this is everything you've been, you know, begging the universe for. This is everything you've been working so hard for. Um, and so I think that this was an extremely emotional time, but extremely energy charged. And I'm sure I was operating like a madman uh, because it was like I was finally getting my first taste of like of, of putting the pieces together. I've got a commercial space and we're putting together an LLC and we are setting up a business bank account and we are setting up a business credit card. And, you know, I'm scrounging together to buy some equipment and I'm laying out in my head how this is going to be and finalizing what are we actually going to call it. And, a lot of people don't know that it was almost RTS Fitness first, but I, uh, I pivoted to RTS Barbell uh, because I felt like it better conveyed what we were going for. And yeah, it was, it's just, it's, it's hard to express the emotion and the transition from here to the first commercial space. Uh, but it was one of extreme positivity, extreme optimism, tons of work, and just endless gratitude. You know, I'm gonna, again, I'll always be so grateful for the time we spent in this garage and and for Chris's uh, endless support. And to this day, it's been 10 years. And uh, we're as intertwined in each other's lives as ever, you know, ever. And uh, 
I just have so much gratitude for that and her support. So I am grateful that RTS has grown to be what it is today and that you, anyone who's taking the time to watch this video, uh, I hope that you know that RTS was built over a long period of time and will continue to be built over a long period of time. Uh, it was built um, on the on the foundation of extreme love from people like Chris and uh, a love and obsession of my own, and my wife Madison and my brother Brandon. And we are endlessly committed and dedicated to providing the kindest, cleanest training facility possible. And we are grateful every day to be able to do that. And uh, it's really good to, to be able to look back at pictures like this and remind ourselves from where, you know, where we came from and remind ourselves where we're going and, and uh, what, what we work so hard every day to do. So guys, this is the final episode on the Iron Mecca. Um, it was the absolute catalyst to where we are today. And uh, I will forever be grateful to Chris for uh, supporting me in a time where a few other, few others did, and uh, giving to me what what uh, what what look you know she she had at her disposal, and uh, you know I don't know if she knew it at the time, but she was playing a massive part in the in the story of Arcus Barbell, so in my life and Madison's life, and and so with that, guys, this is the Iron Mecca. We have officially moved out, and the next episodes to come, we are going to uh, jump into the first commercial space and the official birth of RTS Barbell as an official business to serve the uh, community of Cincinnati and State Pass visitors. So, guys, much love to you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really excited to keep doing this. We're actually coming up on celebrating uh, the gym's seventh birthday. Uh, on July 15th. And so as we lead up to that, I'm going to be doing a lot of sharing of uh, other content and things like and from, from the past. So much love to you guys. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate you. Peace.